Hi, this is Almir at Westhaven with Cape Town Emergency Medicine, and this is another video on our series on resuscitation and CPR. In this video, we will review some of the fundamental skills you need to build up to CPR, and specifically we will focus on how to do good quality chest compressions. On our YouTube channel called EM Cape Town, which you can Google or search for in YouTube, we have a group of videos that review the basic airway and breathing skills. These include videos on bag valve mask ventilation, insertion of an OP airway, a nasopharyngeal airway, and all the other skills you need. For this video, we'll focus specifically on the critical skills to assess for circulation and to act if circulation is found to be a problem. Two critical skills necessary when assessing and acting on faulty circulation during CPR or resuscitation is firstly how to do a correct pulse check and secondly how to do good quality chest operations. For a pulse check, feel for a central pulse for no longer than 10 seconds. The carotid pulse can be found as follows. To find the carotid pulse, palpate the groove between the trachea and the sternocleidomastoid with one or two fingers. The carotid pulse should be palpable in that groove. Search for that pulse for no longer than 10 seconds. If no pulse is felt, or if you are unsure if there is a pulse in that 10 seconds, assume that the patient has cardiac arrest and immediately start chest compressions. Chest compressions is a skill in which we have to provide external compressions to the chest in a hope that we will circulate the coronary and the cerebral arteries and allow the patient's physiology to start recovering and for there to be return of spontaneous circulation. The first thing to know about chest compressions is that they are physically demanding and you can tire out quickly. I strongly recommend that you do not attempt to do chest compressions from the side of the bed as the mechanics of it is simply inefficient and you will tire out rapidly. Instead, find a footstool or chair and get up. This way, the entire weight of your torso will be above your power stroke and you can simply pivot at the hip using big muscles that don't tire easily, providing better quality chest compression for a longer period of time before you tire out. The second thing about chest compressions is the hand position. Your dominant hand should be interlocked by your non-dominant hand, raising the palm off the chest, making sure that the heel of your hand is providing the power stroke seeing as the heel of your hand is in line with your forearm. If you are unable to interlock your fingers like this due to arthritis or any other problem, consider locking your wrist with your second hand in a manner as shown to provide extra support. The position of the heel of the hand should be in the middle of the chest in the lower half of the sternum. Make care to place the heel of your hand in that position, not the palm of your hand. If the palm of your hand is in the middle of the chest, the heel of your hand, which provides the power stroke, is going to be over the left hemithorax and your chest compression will be ineffective. Now let's show you what a chest compression looks like. Get your hands in position and place the heel of your hand over the lower half of the sternum in the middle of the chest. Lock your elbows in position and make sure that your center of gravity or your center of weight is over your position that you are going to compress it. Now simply pivot at the hip and provide good quality chest compressions. You should press hard and fast. A hard chest compression uses most of your power and should cause deformity of the chest of at least 5 centimeters downward. Pressing fast means pressing at least 100 beats per minute. There are many songs that has a 100 beats per minute rhythm and these songs can be used to remind you to keep your pace up or you can have a pacer in the resource unit sounding out the rhythm. Once you have mastered good quality chest compressions, it can be integrated into the wider VLS sequence. Integration of airway, breathing and circulation skills and decision making into a sequence of CPR will be shown in one of our following videos. Thank you very much.